So today I'm talking about a Ford with P0191 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Ford P0191 code? Well, it's a fuel rail pressure sensor circuit range performance. And what does this mean? Well, there's a sensor located up on the fuel rail that monitors what the fuel pressure is and reports this back to the onboard computer. And the computer's seeing that this isn't right, that it's out of the range that it's supposed to be working at. And so it's gonna have to be troubleshooted and know why. And so what are some possible causes? Well, it could be the fuel rail pressure sensor. It could be the fuel cutoff switch. It could be in the wiring, a fuse or a relay. It could be the fuel filter. It could be the fuel pump and possibly the fuel pump module. And so the first thing to go and check out is gonna be that fuel rail pressure sensor. There's gonna be differences depending on the year of the Ford, the make and things like this. But the fuel rail pressure sensor is gonna be located up on the fuel rail, up on top of the engine somewhere. And so basically you could go check it out. You could test it if you want to. Check out the wiring, be sure there's no damage or anything going on with it and check all your fuses and relays that have anything to do with the fuel system. And again, where the fuses are located or the relays are located is gonna vary. It's gonna depend on the Ford, the year, things like this. For example, here's a 2007 Ford F-150, and this is the main fuse to check. There's also gonna be a fuel pump cutoff or inertia switch. And this is basically, if there's an accident that this shuts off the fuel system, this right here will pop up and it'll shut off all the fuel going to the engine. So this is another thing to go and check. Again, it's gonna vary on its location. On this Ford F-150, this is on the passenger side, up behind a panel, up underneath the dashboard on the right-hand side. But go and check it out because if that's triggered, then it's gonna shut off all the fuel going to the engine. And so if you go and check that out, all the fuses look good, all the relays look good, that fuel inertia switch hasn't been triggered or anything like this. Then there's a few ways you go about troubleshooting this. One thing you could do is you could do a fuel pressure test up at the fuel rail, just to see what the fuel pressure is. Basically, you hook this gauge up at the fuel rail you look up what the fuel pressure is rated to be running at on your particular Ford. Since again, there could be differences. But for example, say it's rated to be running at 50 PSI, but you check it and it's running at 30, then you know this is low and there's some kind of issue going on with the fuel delivery, which could be like the fuel pump or a clogged fuel filter or something like that. But if you check it and it's good and it's running at 50, then very likely that fuel pressure sensor is bad and just reporting bad data back to the onboard computer. Because if you're getting the correct fuel pressure at the fuel rail, then the fuel delivery system is working the way it's supposed to be. So if that happens, the next thing to do would be to test or replace that fuel rail pressure sensor. If the fuel pressure is not good, say it's running at 30 PSI or something, then the next thing to go and check is going to be the fuel filter. And quite often the fuel filter is inside with the fuel pump, but many times there are inline fuel filters that'll be up on the frame somewhere. And so if you have one of these, it could be a good idea just to go replace it since they are part of regular maintenance anyways. And if these get clogged up, they can cause issues. Depending on the Ford, the fuel filter can be in and a part of the fuel pump inside the gas tank. So again, it's gonna vary. And a bad or weak fuel pump can also cause this issue. If you change out that fuel filter and you still have low fuel pressure, then the fuel pump would be the next thing to go and check. It might be weak and starting to go bad and it's just not putting out the correct pressure. Also keep in mind that a bad fuel line going up to the engine that's clogged or kinked or anything going on there can also cause weak fuel pressure. So be sure to check fuel lines and be sure they look like they're good. If you're not getting no fuel pressure up to the fuel rail and all your fuses are good, all your relays are good, that shutoff switch is good, then very likely there's something going on with, with the fuel pump driver module. Again, it can be located differently in in this example, this Ford F-150, it's located up behind the vehicle, up underneath by the rear axle. And if this fuel pump driver module goes bad, then it's not gonna send no voltage up to the fuel pump, so there won't be any fuel pressure. And these are a common problem that you fail. There's some different ways you go about troubleshooting these, but basically if your fuses are all good, your relays are all good, and that fuel pump cutoff switch is good, then very likely this fuel pump driver module has gone bad. Of course, be sure to check the wiring and things like this, but this would be the next thing to go and check would be the fuel pump driver module. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a Ford with the P0191 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.